Three, two, one. Hello, this is Chris Underwood with Second Chance Silverware Jewelry. I was making some earrings here. I just thought I'd turn the camera on and do a little quick video. Somebody new to this might uh might learn how to make some earrings like this. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, give me some forks. These are fork earrings. I'm gonna make them into hearts and. Uh, I try to get the uh, long tines uh, rounder if you can. I don't use the little flat ones, but uh, you could probably uh, use any forks. But I use the long tines that are round. And then I'll take it over here to my uh, hydraulic press and I'll flatten that. Now you really don't have to, but I think it comes out a little better doing that. So let's go over there real quick and see what we got. I'm not much on editing videos, so we're just going to do this all in one take and put up with me getting the camera ready and everything. I don't think you're going to be able to see there. Let me try something else. Okay, there we go. There we go. This is a 12 ton hydraulic press. Let me shut the door here. If you're going to do a lot of uh, Silverware jewelry, uh, I highly recommend you getting one of these because it's going to come in real handy a lot of things. So let this help a little. Uh oh, that's my little pressure release. Well. We'll put her back on in a minute. Jack's about had it. I think it's about out of fluid, but it's still pumping a little bit. Okay, so we got a flat one there. Now, let's see. Let's come over here to the shear uh, metal bit or metal shear and cut this thing. This thing here is a good tool to have because it just boom just like that real easy cuts it off real easy now let's come over here to the vise we're gonna cut this right down the middle we're gonna make two this will make one pair of earrings so I'll chuck it up in my vise use my hacksaw Cut it right down the middle. Don't take that off. Now I got a tool next to it, a one inch belt sander. Round that square edge you just made over and round, round it over a little bit. Get your burrs off. Got her nice and rounded there. Now we're going to want to drill a hole for your ear wire. Let's get over here to the drill press real quick. You probably ain't going to see nothing, but we're just drilling a hole. How hard can that be? Let's see. What size drill bit do you use, Chris? Well, I normally use a 564. That's like a step up from a 16th, I think. 16th, in my opinion, just break too easy. Of course, they all break easy if you don't watch what you're doing. Okay. Here we go. Now 
got to. Now we need to deburr that. The easiest way of doing that is just chucking in a bigger drill bit. Like this. You know, it don't matter what size, just a big one. Chuck it up. And just lightly touch it where that burr is. Get burr right off. There we go. Alright, let's go back over here to the vise. Hope this isn't going too fast for you guys. Get this thing where you can see. Okay. Now you're going to chuck it in your vise just, just down here at this solid part so the tongue, uh, tines are sticking up. And you'll need something to put in here and bend them. Uh, what I use, all this is, is a, uh, it come with the, you know, you got a Phillips screwdriver in one end and a straight screwdriver in the other end. They'll pull out. Well, that's all that is couple of bucks at Harbor Freight, as long as it's hollow inside. But bend your forks opposite each other. Just like that. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. Just like that. Now we're going to come over here to the uh, Silverware Arbor Press Bender. And by the way, if you would like to purchase one of these, I'll leave down in the description on how to purchase them. Let's see if we get you a little tighter. Maybe that'll work. Alright. We're going to just stick the tine where it's just resting on the back side there. Okay, can you see that? And we're going to make, we're just going to make a little loop at the end. Okay, once you got it down, you can push it up with your fingers just a little bit. You want this, uh, where you at? You want this to be just straight across or down just a little. That's not quite far enough right there. So put it back in. You can just push it with your hand or use a rubber hammer. Where you at? Uh, that, that's good. Let's do the other side. Push it down. You can use your hand and just push it up a little bit more. Okay. Now if you can see that, they're just kind of pointing at each other there. Okay. Real easy. These are so easy. Now the next step, if I can get you on the table here, I think you can see. Just take your rubber hammer and tap them down until they until they meet in the middle, just like that. And there you got your one side of your earring. It's a heart, just as simple as that. Got your hole to put your ear wire, and then you'll do the other one same way. Okay, uh, that's all I had for you.